Hello again everybody, welcome back to another edition of On The Range. And today I'm in the TF-51 Mustang and I'm going to try to answer a question that's come up several times during comments. And the question is, how do I control the zoom as I'm looking around? And uh, specifically when I zoom in and zoom out, what am I doing? Because apparently it's a little bit different than what you get by default. Uh, specifically talking about me using Track IR, the head tracking apparatus and software that allows me to using head movements look around. Now if I remember correctly in DCS world, by default if I move my head forward that zooms the view in, if I move my head back that zooms the view out. But what I've done is changed the profile a little bit so that when I move my head forward what I'm doing is moving my head forward in the cockpit so that my head position relative to the instrument panel changes and it doesn't actually zoom the view, it just moves my head position. If I move back, I'm right back to the normal position. So I move my head back and forth, but it does not change the zoom. Now let me try to explain a little bit about how I do this. To zoom the view in and out, I have a lever on my throttle, and I have the HOTAS, the uh, Thrustmaster Warthog HOTAS, and it has a lever, and if you're familiar with the A-10, it's the throttle friction lever, but I haven't mapped on my HOTAS to if I move the lever forward to zoom in and if I move the lever back to zoom out. So I have two things going on here, head forward and back to move my relative head position back and forth in the cockpit and then the lever in and out to affect my zoom. And let me show you exactly how I did that. If I go to the adjust controls and then go to the axis commands and if I remember correctly by default the absolute longitude shift camera view. That's a fancy way of saying moving my head forward and aft. By default, I believe that is not set to anything and that the zoom view down here is set to longitude, or it's actually set to track IR Z axis. That's you moving your head back and forth. So I believe by default that's it. So I've got, as you can see, the joy slider one on my HOTAS throttle set up. So let me clear that out go back in and show you what I mean. So now, when I move my head forward, it zooms in and move my head back zoomed out. And I believe that's by default. But what I did is I went to Adjust Controls, Axis Commands. I cleared out Track IRZ from the zoom view. And I did add on my throttle the Joy Slider 1 to control my zoom. And this could be done with anything that moves back and forth, like a slider, it really doesn't matter, you know, what kind of uh, hardware that you have. But I have it on the it's the uh, throttle friction lever on the Hotas uh, Thrustmaster Warthog Hotas. But I'm going to come back up to my Track IR profile and that absolute longitude camera shift view. That's the one that controls moving my head forward and back. And I'm going to assign Track IR Z to that axis. So now when I come in, my slider is controlling the zoom but when I move forward and aft now my relative head position in the cockpit moves forward and aft. So hopefully that all made sense and I know that's an obscure topic geared around mainly folks who fly around with track IR software but hopefully that explains it and that is how I do it. And I guess one more note on the TF-51 before I get out of here and before I forget if you want to see a beautiful example of a restored and flyable TF-51, go to the War Eagles Air Museum. It's located halfway between Las Cruces, New Mexico, and El Paso, Texas, just off of I-10. It's a place I used to uh, volunteer at and help a little bit restoring aircraft. It was a lot of fun. They have some great, great aircraft there, a lot of them in near flyable or flyable condition to include a great example of a TF-51. So check it out if you're in the El Paso, Texas area. And, hey, thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.